Hey everybody, Chris here. Another uh, another tip for uh, Honda owners. This, this is my 2000 Honda CRV. Uh, it's got a little over 300,000 miles on it. I did a, a video about uh, taking the fuse out for the the door locks uh, to assist with a battery discharging issue. So that was that's one thing. But uh, when your car has about you know over 300,000 miles, there's a number of things that pop up. Another thing that popped up that I wanted to talk a little bit about and share with others that might have might be experiencing something like this was um. I had a, a period where the car wouldn't start. It just would not, it would turn over, so the, it was cranking, um, so it was getting power. There was definitely battery power. It just would not catch, right? It wouldn't fire up. And, uh, and I, was, uh, I wasn't quite sure what was going on. The story was that I had left the car at my folks' house. I had to fly out of town just for a day and then come back. And then within that day, you know, like my dad says, hey, your car is not starting, so he's going to pick me up at the airport. And I was like, oh, well, you know, what did you do? What's wrong? What, you know, what happened? Um, and so I, I got to his house, tried to turn it over. And sure enough, it just would not catch. So I had it towed to the local Honda dealership. I won't name the dealership. They ran some tests and said, oh, the, the engine's done. And this was probably maybe just after 200,000 miles um, on the engine. So they were telling me the engine was no good. They ran compression tests and, and checks and that uh, there was, you know, it was done. I should just be looking at a new car because what I needed was a, a new $3,000 engine what, and the car wasn't worth that. And I didn't like the sound of that at all. Uh, so luckily a good friend of mine hooked me up with a tow to uh, my local auto mechanic who's about 50 miles north. So we had the, the car towed from the dealership uh, on a tow truck and they dropped it off there. He ran some quick tests and said, well, you're, you know, and he, you know, he, he said the tests that they ran probably weren't super relevant or valuable in trying to figure out what was wrong. He said, but I did notice that your plugs were fouled, especially on the number three cylinder. And uh, I was like, oh, okay. He says, yeah, we replaced them, and then the thing will fire right up. And I said, I said great, that's that's uh, that's awesome. And so since that time, uh, I've had another instance where the, the the plugs got foul enough that it wouldn't start. And so this time, as soon as I knew that it, it, it could crank, but it wasn't catching, I instantly thought back to the plugs change the plugs out and that was the fix right so I do know that my oil at 300 miles 300,000 it's eating a couple of quarts I would say every three to six months right and I and I change it pretty regularly about every 7,000 miles is what I'm changing the oil I put mobile one in it but it's still it's it's losing oil it's not leaking oil it's it's burning it up in the engine so that's a that's a thing I'm going to show you the plugs here uh, so you can kind of see what it is I think it is the number three cylinder that it might there might be an oil leak inside of it or it's you know it's fouling the plugs for sure so we'll show you what that looks like and that's a cheap fix and so I'll keep running plugs through this thing until the thing just doesn't run because you know I think it's like 10 bucks for a set of four or something like that um, and I'll, I'll swap those out every six months until the car is dead but anyway I wanted to uh, share this with you in case you have the similar issue I'm sure it's probably not you know I'm, and I'm not a mechanic so I want to put that standard disclaimer I'm not a mechanic but with 300,000 miles on a car you learn <laughs> the parts of the car and how they work a little bit. Um, so we're going to show you what the spark plugs look like. I'll show you the inside of the car, the hood, you know, in the engine compartment. Not that that matters, uh, but let's take a look. So the, the, here are three of the plugs. I couldn't find the fourth. I did. I kept them. Um, you can see the two on this side aren't too bad. You know, they're a little warm, but you know, they could probably go back in. Whereas this one, and I'm pretty sure that comes from the number three uh, cylinder. Um, it's pretty well fouled. Let's get it back into view there. So it's black. Right, and, and the one before this was black, and uh, I'll probably swap out. I think I'm coming up on maybe uh, you know, four or five months on the set that I have in the car. So we'll, uh, we'll change them out shortly, but this is, this is something to look for, right? So if, you're, if your car's, uh, it has juice, so it's got electricity, it's, it's turning over, but it's not catching, it's something worth considering is taking a look at the condition of the spark plugs, because uh, as it turns out, that's enough to keep it from, from turning over. So before you go in for some expensive, you know, ignition diagnostics or, or swapping out parts, um, these are definitely disposable. So, you know, doesn't hurt to take a look. And this is the inside of the, the engine compartment for Honda CRV. This is a 2000 model. Um, changing spark plugs is pretty easy, right? There's four of them. They're right on top here. Um, you are going to need, um, you know, a, uh, you're going to need a, uh, a socket set and it's gonna have to you have to get an extension on it right and it has to be a socket that'll that'll work for a 
a spark plug because it has to be long so that the head of the spark plug can fit through it. But other than that, it's pretty. It's a pretty simple thing, right? You do have to gap the plugs, but generally the guys at the auto shop will help you. Spark plug, gap, spark plug gapper costs just a couple of bucks, uh, so it's definitely something you could do yourself. Um, a spark plug swap out. It's not, not a big deal. So anyway, uh, yeah, this is the engine compartment. And that's it. So uh, yeah, hopefully this helps somebody else out that uh, might be struggling with an older car uh, that, that's, that goes up and down, right? I'll be happy if I can squeeze another 20 or 30,000 miles out of this thing, but I'll, I'll keep trying and I hope you keep trying too. Uh, so uh, yeah, hope, this, hope you found this useful. As always, take care and see you next time.